Glenda Ritz confirmed what was perhaps the worst kept secret in Indiana. She is running for governor. For the last three years, she has served as Indiana's state school superintendent. As New Sense John Swanner found in Political Watch 10, Ritz now sets her sights on dethroning the man who stripped much of the power of her current office. That is like so true. Uh, yeah. Going to talk about that today. Glenda Ritz made Terre Haute her second stop on her newly found campaign trail. A trail she hopes will end at the governor's mansion in November of 2016. Out of touch Republican leadership at the state house embraced policies that tear Hoosiers apart instead of bringing us together. These realities are why today, in order to move Indiana forward, I am announcing my candidacy for the Democratic nomination for governor of Indiana. Hi, Representative Kersey, thanks for coming. Besides her time as state school superintendent, Hi. Rich was a teacher for 34 you? years Hi. at the MSD Washington yes. Township District in Indianapolis. But Ritz says her campaign will focus on all issues, not just education. State government is growing bigger, more expensive, and more removed from the needs of taxpayers while working Hoosiers shoulder more of the state's tax burden. Ritz will face former House Speaker John Gregg in the primary. When asked about that matchup, Ritz said very little, only that voters will decide. Clearly, Ritz has her goals set beyond the primary. I feel that I'm the leader that can do that. I feel I'm the candidate that can beat Mike Pence, um, and that's where, I, that's where I'm headed. So is, is your candidacy more about beating Mike Pence as it is, as it is opposed to Glenda Ritz being governor? No, it's about getting it done the right way. It's about making sure that we're really moving forward in Indiana on those key topics that I shared. Uh, it's about education. It's about jobs. It's about economic revival. It's about revitalizing our communities. I don't see it happening like it needs to be happening. I've got great ideas to make it move forward, and that's what it's all about. In Terre Haute, I'm John Swanner, News 10. When asked about her lack of legislative experience, Ritz said she has quite a bit of experience working with the legislature. Ritz said as a teacher leader, she lobbied at the state house and working on language of bills as they proceeded through the legislative process.